we're gonna make a stuffed Kong today. Uh, we can do just a little bit of regular dry dog food. You can do some canned dog food. The ever popular peanut butter, we'll use just a little bit of this because it could be really fattening. Uh, and string cheese, same. We can use a little bit of this because it can be really fattening too. Uh, and then just some leftover green beans if you want to get something healthy in your dog's diet. So we're going to mix some of this stuff up and we're going to stuff it in the Kong. And then after that, we're going to put it in the freezer. A frozen Kong, as a general rule, is going to last about three times as long as just uh, stuffing your Kong without freezing it. So for today, I'm just going to do um, some of the dry dog food. I'm going to put a little bit of peanut butter in and then we'll throw in some green beans. I'm just going to put about, about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of the peanut butter. If you're putting in uh, vegetables, you can put them in whole or you can cut them up in tiny bits. And then you're just gonna mix this up. You can use a spoon, but I find that using my hands is easiest. Don't worry about getting the outside messy. That makes it extra fun for the dogs and might entice a dog to get interested in it if you have a little bit on the outside, especially if they're a little bit nervous about it to begin with. If this is the first time you've stuffed a Kong for your dog, you might not want to freeze it the first time so that they get enticed by the smell, but after a couple of times, um, your dogs will be very excited about getting a stuffed Kong and won't mind it being frozen. In fact, when you go to get all the ingredients out, your dogs will run to the kitchen and be sitting around the counter, as all of my dogs are, waiting for their stuffed Kong.